What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty mobile video. Today we look at the best loadout for LMGs. I'll be honest with you guys, LMG is my least favorite type of weapon. I really like ARs, I love SMGs, and then I like snipers for fun. But LMGs, my least favorite. The mobility is horrible, the accuracy is pretty bad on most LMGs. So why the hell am I playing LMG? Because sometimes you don't have a choice. If you do the season pass, you want to do all the challenges, you have to play LMG. And it's pretty painful if you don't have a great loadout. So in today's video, I share with you guys my loadout. And I got some gameplay for you guys. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. For more Call of Duty Mobile news, gameplay, and guides. Let's start. Alright, so let's look at my loadout before we go into the gameplay. First of all, I use the M4 LMG. Now, why I use the M4 LMG? Because it's the most accurate of all the LMGs available. Alright, so it's got a rating of 60 and the RPD's got a rating of 40. But then, even the ones that I don't have unlocked, the UL736 got a 45 rating and the S36 got a 35 rating. So, at 60 is the most accurate LMG. So it makes it maybe a bit less painful. The range 45 and 50 is not a big difference. Now knowing that you'll try to pick up your fights and try not to fight from a long range. You'll try to fight at a closer or medium range. Now the mobility at 40 is the same for all LMGs. They all have the same rating. So let's look at the attachments I use. First of all the sight I guess it's pretty personal. I try red dot sight usually on most of my weapons. But for some reason I tried holo sight and I really like it with that weapon. Now attachment number one, I use FMJ on pretty much all my weapons. I like being able to do extra damage and shoot through the walls. It is situational but I end up using it pretty often. Now second one I think is really important guys is fast mag because the reload speed on that is very very slow. So having the fast mag really helps. The last one I guess you guys can swap. I use foregrip for extra accuracy when aiming down sight. But you guys can also use the quick draw if you want. It's got aim down sight faster. Now operator skill you guys use what you like. I really love the dead machine. It's called sight. Uh, grenades personal preference also. I'm not going to go into it but I always use the frag grenades. Now the perks guys. I think agile is the best in slot. I don't know what you guys use. Leave a comment below. But aiming down sight faster after sprinting, 85% is freaking huge. And I don't see what else. I mean, maybe lightweight is good with some SMG class when you like to move around a lot. Uh, maybe fast recovery is okay. Blast vest in some game mode. But I really, really feel like agile is the best perk for that slot. Slot number two, if you guys are going to play some ranked matchmaking, you really have to go with hard wire because the trip mines are everywhere. I think Vulture is not necessary. You have tons of ammo with the LMG. Arden I never use. Tracker is okay, I guess, in some class, but not with LMG. You don't move around that much. It's very slow, guys. You're running so slow that even if you see footsteps on the ground, you're not even gonna be able to chase anyways. Now, Ghost, if you're gonna use Silencer, I guess, in some game modes, maybe, but uh, not a big fan with that one. You make a lot of noise. <laughs> Cold-blooded I think is the second best in this slot because you cannot be targeted by sentry guns, right? So yeah, probably second best. Depends on the game modes again. And on perk number three, Hardline is the one I use on all my classes. Guys, leave a comment below again what you guys use. I guess the second best would be probably Engineer. You see your enemy equipment. Uh, you can reroll care package and stuff. If you use care package, it's pretty good. So yeah, guys, let's go with some gameplay. Guys, we got Domination on Crossfire. Let's do this. I don't know if it's the best map for LMG because I told you guys you like not long range fights. The accuracy is not good. You like medium to close range. So we're going to try to put ourselves in a spot. And going to equip my grenade just to run faster because mobility is really bad. Oh, man. Alright. Let's try to get a kill on B. Oof, that was pretty bad. They got B still. Should I reload? Alright, let's reload. Thank you so much. 
I knew it was coming. I'm not camping. Spamming. Show your face, boys. Good shot. I'm right, gonna activate spy UAV. I was gonna say spy plane. Alright, we got sentry. And I don't wanna be, be dude. Oh man, hip fire is not a good idea. Alright, let's put this sentry gun. So they cannot come here. I'm gonna try to cut them off on that side. See, like I said, it's not a great map because you're gonna get long, long range fights. Ish. Alright. Brew! Brew. Man, I don't want to move up. I want them to go in my sentry gun. But it's round one over already. And 5031 is a good start. If you get B early on that map, it's tough. It's really tough to get B. If you don't get it at the start and they protect good, really tough. So for some reason, I got a veto. Should I use it? There's a dude. Alright, let's try to get B and then I guess I'll go Vito. We got B. Uh, I wanted to show you some LMG gameplay, but I also want to win, you know. Wait. Apparently you cannot shoot through that fence, dude. As long as we don't lose B, dude. Don't lose B, boys. Damn it. It's gonna protect the right side, left side. It's 85. Let's go. Like, we're gonna win this. Without the veto. Target down. Enemy down. Capturing Alpha. We keep get, going for A, but it's over in two seconds. Yeah, GG guys. Did I die? I don't think I died. I camped a little bit, right? So that's it for today's video, guys. That was some gameplay of the M4 LMG and the loadout I used to play with LMGs. I mean, it's a long grind, guys. 1,200 kills with LMGs is a lot of freaking games for real. And uh, if you don't like that weapon, well, you're not going to enjoy it that much. So having a decent loadout is going to help you get more kills. Out of my 21 kills last game, it was 19 kills with the LMG. So... Yeah, I didn't use my veto. The sentry gun didn't do too much. If you can get 10 plus kills every game with the primary weapon, well, you need still 120 games, right? So, I mean, it is a grind, but it's part of the game. And if you want to do all the challenges, you cannot just skip that one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty mobile videos. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.